Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. A lot of roster change news in today's episode, as well as some other great stories I want to talk about. All of those stories are going to be time marked down below. Let's hop right into our first story, though. Apparently, one of the better teams in the world, SK Gaming, will be making future roster changes for Phelps, their current member, and it could actually include the replacement by Immortals player Bolts. A huge shocking story actually broke by HLTV about an hour ago. I'll link that down below for all of you guys, but also leaked by WESG. If you guys are not aware, WESG hosts a huge tournament every single year, right around January. It's actually going to be this January. January 3rd, very early on, a $1.5 million tournament on their website. They were the first ones to actually leak this. They had this poster for the SK Gaming roster. As you guys can see, in place of Phelps, there was a member known as Dead, and actually coincided with Phelps' Snapchat story. He had that Dead on there as well, which kind of ensued that he was actually going to be replaced by that member known as Dead. That's actually the SK Gaming manager. So if it actually were to be Bolts, who was actually leaving and joining this WESG roster as well, if it were to be Bolts, he could actually play for WESG, but it actually would be Dead or some other stand-in player for the major because... I'm sure many of you guys are aware of these rules. Of course, Bolt's trying to actually qualify for the minor with another team to eventually go to the major. He's not allowed to participate in the major with another team, SK Gaming. So, of course, SK, if they do replace Phelps, will have to play with a different member out there who's not participated in any minors out there. So, it's going to be cool to see who they actually choose for their stand-in player. If this rumor actually does go through, though, it will be Phelps at the door and Immortals member Bolt's in the door, which is very shocking for another reason out there because I'm sure many of you guys are aware of the turmoil that Immortals has gone through. Those players, Bolt's and Steel, sticking together through all of that. That they've been the two main players who actually primary players who stayed in that roster together and we could now have Bolts actually ditching Steel to go to the SK Gaming roster. Could you blame him though? They're probably going to be paying him a heck of a lot more money with Immortals kind of falling through as an organization in a lot of places other than CSGO as well. You guys probably have heard rumors about them losing their LCS spot for League of Legends as well. So who knows as of right now guys this actually is true. It does seem though SK Gaming future roster changes are actually in hand right now. And speaking of the Immortals organization kind of struggling, I briefly mentioned that earlier. I'm sure many of you guys probably saw on Twitter they lost their LCS spot for League of Legends. The organization kind of faltering at a little step there. They actually were a little bit relieved to hear the news news out there. Apparently, according to the minor qualifiers out there, we had the French Canadian team. That's actually Sabrosa's team, their roster on screen for all of you. Managed to do quite well and actually qualify for the North American minor for our major. And they kind of slipped through and actually could have had a chance, a far fetched chance, to make the major qualifier. But according to Visa Issues, one of their members, their Turkish member Rayova, could actually not acquire a visa and therefore they cannot go to the minor anymore. Kind of very saddening news to see a team who actually managed to qualify. Not be able to go through, but Immortals kind of relieved to hear this because they now have a three team playoff for that final minor spot, and it will be Team Misfits, Sore Gaming, and Immortals actually all competing for that one last spot. So this could change in future things as well. If Bolts does stay on the Immortals roster, they manage to qualify for the minor, maybe the major qualifier. Yes, that could change things in the future, but all in all, guys, based on what I saw previously, the Immortals only lost one minor qualifier match, but it was the one that mattered. Off of what we've seen so far, this new roster, I can't expect too much for a major qualifier spot, so we're going to probably see this happen in the, in the, in the eventual future guys, I do think that Bolts will eventually go to SK Gaming. It's only a matter of time though how long you can stick it out with Immortals organization. And also some other cool news out there, we could have been trolled. We could be being trolled right now by many players out there in the past who have had uh, been a part of roster changes. We've had many players out there just blatantly lie on Twitter, but it does seem as of right now the Flipside member Electronic has actually left the Flipside group on Steam and has now joined the Navi group on Steam. Again, it could be a troll, but it does seem this move is going through slowly but surely. If you guys remember my previous episode of CSK News, we also had the founder and CEO of Hellraisers also say his guess and his actual, we don't know if it was a guess or an actual rumor he heard or maybe the truth, he said that Flipside would be leaving Electronic or he'd be leaving them vice versa and he would be going to Navi for a long term project. So we're going to see how that works out guys. It does seem we're closer and closer to Flipside Electronic actually being out of that imprisonment. Now on top of that guys, even more importantly, we also had some big news out there in the cryptocurrency world and this is actually a sponsored shout out so thanks to them. Thank you. Thankfully I'm actually past the whole gambling sponsorship at least for the time being guys. Thanks to DMarket. It does seem to bring about a really cool issue out there. I want to know what you guys think about this. The cryptocurrency market is now ex being expanded inside the virtual item marketplace. Now, I'm sure many of you guys are aware of the big marketplaces out there right now, OP Skins, Skins.Cash. All of these websites, though, are seemingly making their own cryptocurrencies for virtual items. Now, again, this is actually a great thing for all of us who are not investing because it's going to make things a lot cheaper for all of us, less fees. Of course, it's going to decentralize us all across the world, so it should be faster transactions, cheaper fees, and of course, a marketplace where you can sell just about anything to anybody virtually online. So it seems to be a great idea, but I want you I want to know what you guys think about this. We've had in the past week alone, what I'm blown away by this, and many of you guys don't know about this market that's ever expanding. If you guys aren't heavy into cryptocurrencies, we in the past week and a half have had several big websites out there like OP Skins, Skins.Cash, other big websites out there all make their own tokens, their own coins, their own cryptocurrencies, all basically doing the same exact thing. So what do you guys think about this? Who's going to be the most successful? Can they ever be like a Bitcoin, a Litecoin, an Ethereum? What do you guys think about this? And thank you very much to DMarket. If you guys want to check them out down below, they're going to be launching their new cryptocurrency 
and their lot their uh, overall marketplace very very shortly here so if you guys want to subscribe to them down below I'll link them for all of you guys and what do you think about this guys is the cryptocurrency market the future and uh, is virtual items gonna be a part of that I think we could actually have a brand new thing here and very last in today's episode of CSK News thank you first of all guys for watching and please leave a comment down below what you guys think about what stories and please I'll try, I will try my best today I have some free time to actually reply to comments so leave a lengthy comment and I'll actually try and reply to you guys uh, based off this story as well we have the dust 2 rework now out of beta and back to the map pool not the competitive map pool as of right now we're gonna be the big question though in the future is what map of course will it replace in the competitive map pool and will we see this new competitive map pool in the next major in January for e-league gonna be cutting it quite quite close obviously within two and a half months the next major but will we see a new map in the actual map pool for the next major it could be dust 2 back we'll see what e-league does for their major rules on top of that though very lastly I want to finish off today with a very funny story shared by days via Mo's stream it's actually a story about him and Hiko back in an event that's actually in Brazil I what I want to bring this up for is because if you guys are not aware the next ESL Pro League this current ESL Pro League the finals are gonna be hosted somewhere in Brazil probably Sao Paulo and a lot of players are against this for obvious reasons of course we've heard notoriously going to Brazil to host events the crowd there is a bit is a bit rioty a bit uh, maybe anger filled especially if some things don't go their way and it's a very uh, very hostile place for some players out there who are maybe targeted by angry fans so here's a great funny story about a past event and in the past where Dazed and Hiko were together and Hiko actually apparently had security guards for that and here's what Dazed had to say about the story. I heard that Hiko bodyguards were in Brazil. What is it? Dude, oh, so when the funny, people trying to kill him? Yeah, so remember how like all the Brazilians were threatening to kill him? Mm -hmm. So he, he said he has to have bodyguards, okay? He like demanded bodyguards. And he goes and he has like two bodyguards with him at all times, okay? But then he goes to the bathroom, right? But obviously the bodyguards don't follow him into the bathroom. Before he leaves the bathroom, God B leaves the bathroom, and the bodyguards just start following no. God B instead of him. So God B just had these two bodyguards following him for the next like few hours. Because they just this isn't like true. You swear. I <laughs> swear to God. So as always, thank you guys for watching this episode of CSK News, and huge shout out to D Market as well. They're actually going to sponsor this video and the next two videos as well. So if one of you guys out there is a very very into cryptocurrencies, wants to DM me on Twitter and actually talk to me about this, I would love to expand my knowledge on the actual topic of these marketplaces because I've seen so. Many Many owners contact me via email uh, a lot of owners out there that you guys would no love to know about have actually contacted me and said will you sponsor it will you sponsor this will you promote this and I've actually chosen D market for the time being so again I'll link them down below if you guys have any comments about that please let me know I love to learn new things as always live love laugh a lot my name is Jake remember I like you I will see you guys all tomorrow with more CSK news remember I like you goodbye <laughs>